another backyard cigar for working purposes or just simple relaxation. I mean, it really gets down to this. Sometimes you just don't have enough time, right? You just, you got 30 minutes to spare, maybe 25. And maybe you're working around the yard or maybe you just want to read a book, but only for 30 minutes and you want something to accompany that book or whatever the case may be. Right here you have Punch Rare Corojo Elite. Now, what makes it elite? I really couldn't tell you what it makes, why it's elite. It's limited production, it's available for a small amount of time throughout the year, and then they're gone for a little while, only to return in the spring. That's what the company says. But they're usually readily available. You can find them. The great thing about Punch is, as always stated, it's a great value for your dollar. Great bang for your buck cigar. You get a lot of good flavor and you get a lot of good construction and you get a satisfying smoke, which is really, at the end of the day, what you want or at the beginning of the day. So this particular Punch Rare Corojo Elite is five and one, four, four, five and a half by 45 ring gauge. Now, because of the small ring gauge, you get a lot of flavor in it, very much like I've said in the past, like Lanceros or some of the smaller ring gauge cigars. But with the 45 ring gauge, it's, it's, it's a lot more than a cigarillo, and it offers a much more complex smoke than a cigarillo. Not to say that it's an extremely complex cigar, but it does offer more in terms of flavor and transitions, even though they're minimal. Now this cigar has an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. It has a Connecticut broadleaf binder, and then it has fillers from Honduras, Nicaragua, and the Dominican Republic. Dominican Piloto to be exact. This blend, which I've experienced many times, when done by punch, it's just, it's really good. It's, it's, it's satisfying. You get a little of the sweetness from that Dominican filler. You get a little of the spice, both from Nicaragua and from Honduras, but you also experience the wrapper, the Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper to the fullest in this ring gauge. And for me, you know, I, I like this cigar. I'm working, it'll turn on and off. I've got to relight it. I lose nothing, absolutely nothing in terms of quality and flavor so just off the bat you know you you start smoking this cigar it's a small ring gauge cigar but still something you can appreciate and you get this slight sweetness with an abundance of pepper and spice and then you get a little bit of a cocoa flavor but it's it's really fleeting it's it comes and goes uh it's it's more pepper with some sweetness again not a lot of transitions but no complaints here smoke just a little bit more and i'll just come back and wrap it all up so it's a medium bodied cigar, which is a good thing because sometimes you're on an empty stomach and you don't have the time to prepare yourself a meal probably and you just want to rush out and get to it, whether it be the chores or the cigar or both together. And it can get fuller bodied in the larger sizes. But in this size here, it's a medium bodied cigar. It's turned off on me probably five times since I started doing my work. And the beauty of it is every time I light it, I still get a wonderful 
uh, flavor of tobacco, pepper, slight sweetness, and a hint of cocoa. Obviously, like a lot of smaller engaged cigars or just smaller cigars in general, it's not good to smoke too quickly on them or you'll influence the tobacco. So I love it in that since I'm working and smoking a little bit, I'm actually not smoking it very quickly. I'm smoking it slowly, sometimes letting it turn off. And it still rewards me with an excellent value and excellent flavor. And we can all use that in our lives, right? So there you have it, quick smoke review, good cigar for a quick smoke, excellent quality, excellent value, excellent flavor. The Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper is tough. Not as tough as the Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, but this particular cigar, like I mentioned, does have an, uh, a Connecticut Broadleaf binder. So it makes it sort of tough. And what I'm saying is, if it's colder out, it can still handle itself pretty well. Not as well as some of the other sturdier, toothier wrappers, but it'll hold its own to some degree. Today is about 55, 56 degrees. It's slightly breezy, but it's not cold to the point where I have to concern myself with the wrap. I think in this type of weather, I could probably even get away with an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade. Probably. And I, I think I probably could. It's still early. So thank you folks for watching. Till next time on Backyard Cigars.